I recently was informed that a new version of the MyPal web browser was released for Microsoft Windows XP. MyPal is a modern browser, if you will, for the operating system. This version is 68.13.1. Let's go ahead and extract this and then we will install it and see how it works. The previous versions of this browser have been pretty good. Certain things didn't work quite right like Discord which was a problem because one of the things that I would use a lower power machine for is basic stuff like instant messaging. So the fact that it didn't work uh, definitely limited the usefulness to me personally. Also the Spotify web player did not work. I don't really expect it to work even on this newer one because there's something weird about it. Um, but even on the previous version, YouTube and the YouTube Studio both worked perfectly fine. So, um, I mean the fact that it works at all on a 22 year old system is quite impressive. So, let's see here. Uh, about... Um, As you can see, it's very much like uh, Firefox. I don't know where the um, the information is. Here it is. Sixty-eight point thirteen point one B. So, based on Firefox, adapted for Windows XP. So, let's see how this works. Let's start off with, uh, let's do an internet speed test. Uh, let me go to Google first. And let's see if we can get an internet speed test to work. Now, of course, this is only a 32-bit system, so we're not going to find the download speeds to be wild, um, but it's running the test, and for what it's worth, it's working properly. So this looks pretty normal. It loaded up quickly and all the images are clear, the text is clear. It's searching pretty quickly. Appears to be playing properly. Yeah. And all the buttons are rounded. So this is the current rendition of YouTube's site. All the videos are rounded. The description is rounded. Of course to match Windows 11. So this appears to be rendering the website perfectly. All the text is clear. The buttons work, even the buttons have the rounded overlay to them. We have options up to 1080p 60. I'm not sure this machine will handle that. Let's see. It's nighttime. Yeah, the machine can't handle that high of a quality. So, Richie or whatever it is, one of those precision ones. It's playing it, it's struggling, but that's going to be a CPU issue. If we go down to 480p, it should play fine. Sorry, it's starting to get cold. And now it's getting pretty cold. Yeah, it's playing videos just fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that the studio 
probably works just fine as well because it worked fine in the previous version which was significantly older so I have no reason to believe it wouldn't work. Um, next let's try Discord because that's going to be a big one. If that works then this browser is very significant. Well that loaded right up and everything looks clear. Works perfectly. And uh, there was another browser, I forget what it was called, there was only one other browser that would actually work properly with Discord, at least that I knew of, and one of the problems was the text as you were typing, the cursor would jump around. And here, well I just made the typographical error here, but it's it's working as it should. The, the, um, the text shows up right away, the cursor is staying at the end. Yeah, this is 100% working correctly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at the Spotify now. And if this works, and this is really incredible. Okay, so this is not working, but I'm not surprised. Um, that's fine. So, so this browser works, as far as I can tell, with pretty much everything that I would use, with the exception of Spotify. It works on Discord, which is huge, and it works on YouTube, uh, and those are really the two uh, sites that I go to most of the time. Uh, let's try, let's see if we can check the weather forecast. This appears to be working properly. Yep, this is all good. Everything appears to be working flawlessly on here so far. It's a little slow, but that could also be the machine. It's working. It's drawing the map and it's working fine. Uh, what else? It's even got ads. And of course it should also work with older websites. Now we could probably play, um, audio off of here. I forget where do we go to hear the samples.
Well, it doesn't make any difference. The point is, it works. And it seems to work quite well. So, I tell you, the fact that it works with um, Discord is phenomenal. Because now, I can start spending so much more time on various older machines to use the instant messenger again.